Standing desks are becoming more and more popular with numerous options to choose from. But how long have standing desks actually been around? In today's video, I'm gonna tell you the surprising history of standing desks. Interested in standing desks? BTOD TV is your number one standing desk resource. Subscribe today so you don't miss out on our new content. Hi, I'm Taylor with BTOD.com. Standing desks have become more common in the workplace, with more people becoming aware of sitting disease. While this may seem like a new trend, you may be surprised at how long standing desks have been around. Although we may not know exactly when standing desks were used, we can actually trace it back to the 1400s. Leonardo da Vinci actually used a standing easel when painting the Mona Lisa. He also used a standing desk when he created ideas such as flying machines and armored cars. Standing desks started to become more popular in the 18th and 19th century. Now they were most commonly used by rich people in their offices and homes. Advice from English dissenting minister in 1797 played a large part in the rise of the standing desk. Job Orton said, a sedentary life may be injurious. It must therefore be your resolute care to keep your body as upright as possible when you read and write. Never stoop your head nor bend your breast. To prevent this, you should get a standing desk. A self-help book from 1858 suggested that people start to practice their penmanship on their feet. Inventors then began to make patents for bureaus that adjusted with cranks. As America grew to be more industrialized and machines started taking the place of jobs, it became more common to sit. In the U.S., sedentary jobs increased by 83% since 1950. In today's workforce, only 20% are physically active jobs. Sitting can increase your risk for high blood pressure, cardiovascular disease, obesity, and even cancer. There are a few notable people in history who have used standing desks. Thomas Jefferson, the author of the Declaration of Independence and third president of the United States, used a standing desk. He ordered one from a Williamsburg cabinet maker in the late 1700s. This tall desk featured six peg legs for stability. It also had an angled top that was adjusted with a ratchet stand. He used this desk to create his famous architectural drawings. Donald Rumsfeld, a former defense secretary, also used a standing desk. He actually didn't even have a chair in his office and he would only sit when he was eating lunch with other people. When he found out that terrorism detainees were forced to stand for four hours at a time, he said, I stand for eight to 10 hours a day. Why are they limited to four hours? Nobel Prize winner novelist Ernest Hemingway also stood. In an interview published in Paris Review, the interviewer described Hemingway's behavior. A working habit he has had from the beginning. Hemingway stands when he writes. He stands in a pair of his oversized loafers on the worn skin of a lesser kudu. The typewriter and the reading board chest high opposite him. It also says that he started standing due to a minor leg injury he got when he was in World War I. Another notable standing desk user is author Charles Dickens. A visitor described his space as books all around, up to the ceiling and down to the ground, a standing desk at which he writes, and all manner of comfortable easy chairs. Founding father of the United States, Benjamin Franklin, also used a standing desk. Some standing desks are even named after him. One of the world's greatest wartime leaders of the 20th century, Winston Churchill, used a standing desk as well. He must have been doing something right if he was able to live to the age of 90. Facebook is a large company that allows their employees to use standing desks. Their Palo Alto location in California has over 350 standing desks. They've also tried to incorporate a few treadmill stations. Google has a wellness program that allows their employees to also have standing desks. Here at BTOD.com, we've sold standing desks to customers such as Boeing, HP, AT&T, Vanderbilt University, and even US Forest Service. Standing desks have a long history. While they were mainly available to the wealthy in the past, they are now available to anybody who wants one. Nowadays, standing desks come in a wide variety of options and costs to fit anybody's budget. But one thing remains the same with standing desks, is that they offer health benefits and they will continue to be a trend in the future. 
If you want to read the full post on the history of standing desks, it's linked in the description, along with other posts on the Learning Center at BTOD.com. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Thanks for watching.